texting has taken over as like the dominant form of first communication. So if you go out for a night, you meet a girl, you get a phone number, unless you sort of say, hey, I'll give you a call and like pre-organize that that's gonna be what's gonna happen, then if you just call her, she'll look at her phone and think, oh my God, he's calling me, and she won't know what to do, right? And sometimes that can even come across as being full on or like over the top and it can actually make the girl think, whoa, 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 like that's so intense for like a first contact. It's, it, I don't know why that is so much, but, but the interesting thing is with texting, you can build a bit of rapport first, right? So by sending a few messages and stuff to a girl, you can build up a bit of rapport with her. If she's not like sure of herself or even sure of you, and you know, a lot of people are afraid of awkward silences if they're not very good at communicating, then texting gives you a lot of time to think about what I'm gonna say and how I'm gonna respond. And you know, also if someone's busy, sometimes they might not always take your call and then you're like, oh, how do I save face? Cause I called and she didn't call back and then I wanna call her, but maybe she doesn't wanna call because she wants to text. And then you call again and she's like, man, this guy keeps calling me. That's kind of weird cause I'm not returning his calls, right? So um, just in general in dating these days, like because you've got Facebook Messenger and you've got WhatsApp Messenger. Cheers, man, thanks for coming. Cheers. I'm gonna chat to you soon. Um, and you've got, you've got all these like different text mediums like where you meet people with like online dating and everything, all the apps and stuff now. It's just, for whatever reason, it's more accepted or more normal that you would, your first communication would be a text communication. Like I say, there are exceptions. So like sometimes a certain generation will be used to a certain type of communication. But mainly it's like, firstly, if you want to call, you need to pre-frame that. So you've got to tell her beforehand that I will be calling you and find a suitable time. And look, uh, the other thing, like I said, send a few messages first. And if the conversation is really flowing well and it would be faster or she seems like she's like, it's going really well, then you could just say, hey, look, um, my thumbs are getting sore from texting and my, my keypad's smoking. Um, you know, how about I give you a quick call? But also then even if, cause look, she might be at work or she could be a, like a family thing and she might not be able to call you, at least by asking beforehand, she, she will say, oh look, no, I can't, can't chat right now or something like that, okay? Yeah. So I'm not saying never call, but there's, there's definitely a way you would introduce it that would be a better way rather than another way.